<laughs> According to census.gov, as of July 4th, 2015, there were 321,216,397 people in the United States. So about 300 million. The National Institute of Mental Health states 1% of Americans are at risk of having schizophrenia. So make math easy, that's about 3 million. Those numbers are staggering, yet so many people do not know about the disease disorder or understand it. So today I'd like to educate you on what schizophrenia is, the symptoms, different types of treatments and therapies, and how it affects family members. So what is schizophrenia? Looking at all my sources, all the definitions seem to be similar or close to the same. Schizophrenia is a brain disorder that distorts the sense of reality in uh, forms of hallucinations and delusions. According to mayoclinic.org, symptoms start in the patient's uh, <coughs> 20s. Females start in their late 20s while males start in their early 20s. It is possible for teenagers to have uh, to show uh, symptoms of schizophrenia, but it is rare and it's also really hard to tell because of the fact that it just kind of looks like regular teenagers. Uh, different types of, there are different types of symptoms with um, different types of categories of symptoms and they vary from person to person because each person's brain functions differently, even healthy ones. According to HelpGuide.com, the following uh, categories of symptoms and their descriptions are what these people see and how they view the world. There are hallucinations. Those are the most common and they can affect from one to all five senses of the body. Audible and visual hallucinations are the most common. Then there's disorganized speech and behavior. This is make, um, includes making up words and can go all the way to making up their own language. And then there's a decline of uh, overall function. When it comes to this point, the person is no longer able to um, function on their own. Then there's a thing called negative symptoms. This was named because of the absence of, quote, normal behavior that healthy people display. This could be a lack of emotion, lack of interest in the world, and lack of enthusiasm. This is why it's hard to tell in teens. Just like there are many different kinds of symptoms, there are different types of treatments as well. According to MayoClinic.org, schizophrenia requires lifetime treatment even after your symptoms subside. Antipsychotic medications are the most common but they're, because they, um, they affect the neurotransmitters that um, use dopamine and serotonin. These meds are um, the most common, but they're the least favored because they're, they have very dramatic side effects. And if they, the patient doesn't uh, take the medication diligently, the medication will not work. Mitchell Mathis, MD, Director of the Division of Psychiatry, Psychiatry Products in the FDA Center for Drug and Evaluation and Research, says having a variety of treatment, treatment options and do dosage forms available for, available for patients with mental illness is important so that a treatment plan can be tailored to meet the patient's needs. This was said in an article that was published on October 6th of 2015 of a new medication that is injected every four to six weeks instead of taken orally every day. The only known side effect currently is that the patient just keeps wanting to move. I feel like these, uh, this medication will become more popular in the uh, upcoming years. MayoClinic.org states that once the psychosis recedes, the patient is able to take part in different types of therapy. There's individual therapy, which helps the patient learn to cope and detect early signs of relapse. Social skills, social skills training focuses on communication and interaction skills. Then there's speech, speech rehab and support employment. This helps the patient prepare to find a, um, prepare for job interviews to keep, and to keep a job one, um, once their symptoms subside. And then there's family therapy. This helps the families cope and to learn about the um, disorder. Schizophrenia is a debilitating disease for both patients and family members. Washington Post um, published an article in May of 2013 of in the viewpoint of a mother with her son having schizophrenia. The beginning of the article starts with a convo conversation about how his brain is becoming cloudy. This is a sign that he is about to relapse, or it could be a side effect of one of the five medications that he's on. The mom has to watch how he talks and how he walks and to make sure that he is not going to relapse. That is extremely hard seeing as he wants to live on his own because he is our age. He wants to live in an apartment and go to college. Reading this article, I was able to understand just the hardships that um, people, that family members go through with uh, other family members who have schizophrenia. 
MayoClinic.org suggests um, that family members with uh, schizophrenia, the family members should learn about the disorder, <coughs> join a support group, focus on the goal, and learn stress management. That will help to cope. Three million people are, um, have, are at risk of having schizophrenia, even, and even more are affected. I said at the beginning that not many people know about this disease, or this disorder, and very few even understand it. Now you guys know about this disorder and can raise awareness and educate others. 